Winamp is a music player for PCs that has been used by millions since 1997. Even though a stable version has not been released since 2013, it's still a great player for your computer. In 2018, a beta version was leaked out on the internet, but it wouldn't be as stable as the 2013 edition. Let's look at Winamp 5666, the 2013 light version. Hi, Dennis Ray here. As you can probably see, I'm an old dude. And I want 1,000 subscribers before I kick the bucket. You can help me with that part of my bucket list, and all you have to do is like and subscribe below. Okay, thank you. So we got the Winamp interface menu. And uh, we can use these controls to make the interface smaller. And, ooh, that is small. Wow. Nice so. And then have the time, title, and we can right-click this for more information. Kilobytes per second, and normally we want between 128 to 320. 44 kilohertz, and that would be standard for MP3 files. Volume, balance, mono, stereo. Views for equalizer and playlist. Standard controls for a player. Uh, shuffle. And repeat the song. Yeah. Then there's the equalizer. On and off. Auto. That will help you load the presets that you've made. And then there are presets to load the presets that come with Winamp. And also, save presets that you've made or delete them. And then you can move this to toggle the sound just the way you want it, or move these individually. Then there's the playlist area, and then you can right click on the songs in there and see information and options for each one of those. Add, remove, select, miscellaneous, where you can sort, file, uh, there's times about each individual song and the complete playlist, some more controls, new list, save list, yeah, and that's the Winamp interface. Should we listen to some of these and see what Winamp sounds like? Okay. All right, groovy. In the menu, everything is pretty well self-explanatory, but there are a couple of things that I wanted to touch on in here. Uh, for instance, video. Winamp Lite is not capable of playing video, but uh, Winamp Primary is. But even so, I would not use Winamp to play video because there are better free video players available, like VLC and MPC. Then in Options, Preferences, Playback, Replay Gain. Replay Gain is a way of normalizing music so each song is the same volume without losing sound quality. I did a video about how to attach Replay Gain with WX MP3 Gain to music. See the link in the description below. 
Then there are more options that you can take a look at in going down the menu. More things that you can select and peruse through. And uh, oh, there's more. Playback, visualization, skins, and help. Also, I wanted to mention it's possible to burn a CD with Winamp Lite. I put a link to a video down below that will tell you how. Or I did a couple of videos of Ash Shampoo Burning Studio Free and uh, CD Burner XP, which can be used to easily burn CDs. And links are down below. So where can you get Winamp Lite? Well, this is the place, MajorGeeks.com. And I'll put a link in the description below. There's information about Winamp Lite and your download links. Do not use the author's site. That no longer works. So you have to use the Major Geeks link. So you just click on that and it will download. It doesn't take long. It's not a very large download. So double click on it and install it. And uh, then you have a nice program to play your music files. That was Winamp Lite, a great free music player for your PC. A classic that's often imitated but never duplicated. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you later. Take care.